In today's class, we will quickly have the idea of relational and logical operators that C supports. Relational operators are used to compare two quantities in our program. And definitely those relational operators will be used in an expression. And that expression containing a relational operator is called relational expression. And in a relational expression on both the sides of that relational operator we will have maybe constants maybe variables maybe both and with respect to relational operator on both the sides the constants the variables that we will have they may be called as operands or relational operands so when a relational expression will be evaluated the output of that expression either it will be one if that relation is true or it will be zero if that relation is false. Now this is a list of relational operators that C supports. Here we can see we have six such operators. In the first column we have their symbols and in the second column we have their meaning. So less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, only equal to or not equal to. These are the operators that we are already familiar with because we have already studied in mathematics. Now, in the third column, we have the associativity. In the fourth column, we have the rank. Rank means we know the precedence. If in, a, in an expression, we have more than one relational operator, then which one will be processed first? That is decided by the rank. So lower is the rank value, then higher will be the precedence. So here in this complete list of relational operators, the first four operators have higher precedence and the last two operators have lower precedence. So in a relational expression, if suppose we have all these six relational operators, then first four will have more precedence. They will be processed first. But if suppose in an expression, we have more than one operator who have the same rank, then which one to process first? In that case, the associativity works. So if all the operators having same rank, they come in a single expression then they will be processed as per their associativity and in this case of relational operators as we can see all the relational operators are processed from left to right this is the syntax of using relational operator so as we can see on both the sides of the relational operator we have expressions one and expressions two and these expressions as i said could be constants they may be variables also and they may be both in the class of arithmetic operators, we saw there that multiplication, division and modular division, they have rank 3 and for addition and subtraction, they have rank 4. That means arithmetic operators always have higher priority over relational operators. So in a single expression, if suppose we have arithmetic operators as well as relational operators, then the arithmetic operators, the operations involving arithmetic operators will be processed first and then the operations related to relational operators will be processed. Next, we will see a few examples of using relational operators. So here, as we can see, we have this less than this operator and on both the sides, we have constant values. Now, 10 less than 20, that is true. So outcome of this expression will be true or this operation will be true. Now in the second example, as we can see, we are using less than equal to sign here, that operator. So 10 less than equal to 5.5, which is false. So after evaluation, the result will be false. The next example is 5 plus 2 greater than operator we have used here and on the right side we have 20. So first as we know that uh, arithmetic operator they will be processed first. So this plus this addition will be processed first. So 5 plus 2 it will be 7 and then the relational operation will be processed. So that greater than sign will work. So 7 greater than 20. So the result of this relational operation will be false. Now next is on left side we have an expression where we have arithmetic operator so that will be processed and then on the right side we, we have again arithmetic operator so that will be processed again and this time it will be processed as per their associativity and then when all these arithmetic operations are done then the relational operation will work and here we have this greater than equal to sign so on the left side we will have finally 17. And on the right hand side also we will have 17. So here we have greater than equal sign. That means on both the signs since we have the same value. So finally the evaluation result will be true. 
Now in the next example, we have a plus b and on the right side c plus d. So as I said that uh, we can use constant values directly or you can use the variables also and variables will have some values in the program. So here a, b, c, d all uh, will have their own values and as per their values, they will be processed. So what will be the outcome of this relational operation that depends on which are the values these a, b, c, d variables are holding. So output of this operation may be true, may be false. Now in the next example, we have on the left side again an expression where we have variables. So a minus b and then we have this relational operator not equal to and on the right side we have another expression where we have constant value as well as variable. So again a, b, c which value they are holding we don't know. So based on that the result of this whole relational operation will be decided. So that could be true that could be false also. So this was about relational operators. Next, we will see the logical operators. Now, in C language, it has, it supports three logical operators and, or, and not. And logically, they will be processed. Now, here is the list of these three operators. In the first column, we can see their symbols as, we, as usual. And in the second column, we have their meaning. So, ampersand, ampersand, that is actually for and operation. And it is logical and then the second symbol is for logical or and the third symbol is for logical not and uh, as usual their associativity is given so for logical and and logical or the associativity is left to right for not the associativity is right to left and rank wise first the logical not will be processed because it has the rank 2 means it has a higher precedence of getting processed and then logical and has 11 so next precedence and then logical or will be processed so in a logical expression if we have all these three logical operators then not will be processed first then logical and and then logical or so where we use this logical operators this logical and and logical or are used when we want to test more than one condition and then based on that we want to have or we want to make some decisions. So always we will have at least two conditions. An expression which combines two or more relational expressions by logical operator is called logical or compound relational expressions. So here we have that example. What we can see here in the middle we have that logical and operator and on the left side we have one relational operator or that expression or that operation and on the right side also we have one relational operator so here both the logical operations they will be processed and when both of them will be true because we are using this time and the relational operation that we have on the left side if the result of that relation is true and at the same time if the relation or the result of the relation that we have on the right side if that is also true then the whole logical expression or whole logical operation will be true now in the second example we have two logical operators and both of them are logical or and this time we don't have any relational operation that we have arithmetic operation so in case of first or we have on the left side one arithmetic operation addition so that will be processed and on the right side we have another arithmetic operation subtraction so that will be processed and here as third operand we have constant value so here since it is or operation so if a plus b if that result is true or x minus y if that result is true or if 50 so suppose if we want to take some decision based on this logical operation so if either of these three results means a plus b x minus y or 50 so either of them will be true then we can take that decision else or otherwise we will be taking some other decision so that's how this logical or operator works and that will be more clear in the truth table that we'll see in the next slide and here we have another example where we have used the logical not operation. So on the left side, we have one expression, arithmetic expression, where we have two arithmetic operators. So that will be processed. And on the right side, we have a constant value. So if the value that x, y, z, they are holding based on that, these two arithmetic operations will be first performed. And if the final result 
of that arithmetic operation that we have on the left side if that is not equal to 50.28 then based on that we will be taking some decision and if both are matching if both will be same means if that uh, outcome of this not operation is false then based on that we will be taking some other decision so like relational expressions logical expressions also finally give us the result as one or zero so one means it is true and zero means it is false so here we have a truth table based on the logical operators and here we have two real time examples so if on based on a logical operator if the operands on both the sides of that operator maybe there we have some relational operation maybe some arithmetic operations but if both the values are one or both the values are non-zero then finally the output of that and operation will be one as well as the output of the or operation will be also one and if one of the values is zero means one of the result is false on both the sides of that logical operator then in case of and that result will be zero because how and works if this condition and this condition means the both the conditions that we have on both the sides of the and operator if both the conditions are true then only the result of that and operation will be true so if one of them is false then the result of that and operation will be false and if both are false then also the operation then also the result of that and operation will be false so there is only one possibility when the output of that on and operation will be true and that is when the results of both the sides of that and operator is true and in case of or operation logical or operation if both the conditions are true then it is true if one of them is true either the left side or right side then also the output of that logical or operation is true only case where the output of that logical or operation will be false when both the sides both the conditions that we have on both the sides of that logical or operation if they are false together so we have to remember this important point that when both the conditions of logical and operation are true then only the result of that logical and operation will be true and when both the conditions of logical or operation are false then the result of that logical or operation will be false and here in this example which could be a piece of c program here it is written that if age is greater than equal to 60 and salary is less than equal to 60000 so when both the conditions will be true then the result of this and operation will be true and based on that we will be taking some decision otherwise else we will be taking some other decision in our program or in our main logic in the second example as we can see here we have character data within single quote and single character so if of a person suppose if he has pan means the status is y or he or she has a uh, other so if that state is also y that means if either of them he or she has then based on that we will be taking some a decision maybe he or she will be eligible for something else else means when the person doesn't have both the things then we will be taking some other decision so this is how it happens in our c program so this was all about relational and logical operators in brief that we use in our c programs this will be more clear when we will be using more and more in our real-time program so that's all for today see you in the next class thank you